All right. My name is Sarah Hodson, and I'm going to set my iPhone because I don't have slides. And I'm going to do it on purpose. I teach in the creative industry in the arts and crafts. When you hear the marimba, that would be my presentation over. All right. What I want to talk to you today uh, is about my three most favorite things. And it's kind of interesting because I'm not even familiar with any of this. I was asked to do it on the fly, and I thought, you know, it's pretty easy to talk about something you're passionate about because it, it's by heart. Going around right now in the audience that I can't see because of this bright, beautiful light that makes me not nervous, um, I want to introduce you to <laughs> these three of my things, obviously. Um, a place card, a rubber stamp, and an ink pad because my entire career in design. And the reason why is because I teach all the people that believe they're not creative anymore. All right? And in true DIY, hands-on, Henry Ford Museum kind of way, this is a force fun activity, and you are all required to do a hands-on because I want you to remember this. And the only way I can do that is for you to actually feel it. All right, so you have Around you, there should be little cards. If you don't, that's okay, because that's part of the presentation as well. The rubber stamp is the great enabler. If I'm talking to uh, a room full of kindergartners, each and every one of them will tell me they're creative. But by the time I get them, when they are 35 and 40, to get someone to raise their hand is nearly impossible. They'll tell me they're not artists. They can't draw. They won't create. They can't make something. And I tell them, well, how the heck are you going to be self-reliant? Each one. All right, we go deep down inside of us to make something crazy amazing. We want to leave our mark on the timeline of history. And what better way for you guys to remember it than to have a rubber stamp? The rubber stamp makes artists out of all of us. We borrow the image of somebody else, and we take it as our own. Isn't that what that science and creativity is about? It's about taking what's on hand and using it in an innovative and new way. And each one of us is enabled with that capability if we just picked up the damn stamp. Okay? How many people don't do it? If it passes you by, you're one of those folks. And your friends and neighbors next to you, out of peer pressure, are going to make you stamp that ink pad. Okay? So, I wanted to talk about the process there. It's a wooden stamp, it's vulcanized rubber, it's made to last. That stamp is fairly new because the image was made just for Maker Faire. When you're borrowing somebody else's art and you're making it your own, it becomes the Renaissance. We are the Renaissance. The internet kind of provides that. It used to be a signet ring. Each one of us is insanely and magnificently unique. And what's so cool about a rubber stamp is that we are allowed to imprint on somebody else. And in that motion, in that moment, depending on what substrate it is stamped upon, which could be a wall, it could be a surfboard, it could be the bottom of a shoe, it's going to leave something of itself on you, and it alters the image itself. Ideas are rubber stamps. People are rubber stamps. Our images are changed. The picture and the way we see things are changed each and every time we are used and allow ourselves to be used. I want you to notice the ink pad, ladies and gentlemen. It's dark in here. And I chose an India ink pad. It's archival, it's waterproof, it's black on purpose against white. You are not meant to blend in. You are meant to be bold, to leave a mark on the timeline of history that is more akin to marble carved rather than dust that you blow away. Each child understood that. Each moment would be marked with purpose instead of being wasted and frittered away on being famous or being the next American Idol. The last thing is the place card, and this is our my last 30 seconds. It's because you have a reservation at the table, ladies and gentlemen, and you're expected to show up. Each one of those place cards is an open fold. 
and in it should have all the unique qualities that who you are inside. You come to the table with something, and you come with the ability to make Point is, is that if you stop being nouns, and you allow your name to be a verb, then things here would be a completely different ball of wax. My time's over. I hope you make your mark.